a couple weeks ago about uh, how to fillet perch, and it, it was pretty popular. And they want to know. You got, a lot of you guys want to know if you can do the same thing with crappies. So we have a batch of crappies here. Uh, Michael and I usually do this kind of uh, conveyor belt style here, and he usually takes the head off. So the first step is getting your right angle. With a crappie, you're gonna need a paper towel. They're a lot more slippery than a perch. But you gotta start up above the gill. There's a lot of meat here in this area you don't wanna lose. And you gotta saw and kinda twist through the spine and then just saw all the way down right behind the gills. And that's with a serrated blade yeah. Which makes it nice, makes a much that easier a process. So usually that's the first step. The next step, we're trying to take the bones off the meat. So here's the bone structure of the of the fish. It's got the rib area and it's got this spine area. So we're going to try to run our blade down the length of this out and across. The beauty, once you've taken the head off, is you can see exactly where the rib area is. You can get good at cutting it from the top over. But if you're out at all, you lose some of the best part and the meatiest part of the fillet. The beauty of taking the head off first is I can slide the knife. Here's where my knife is going. I'm poking it in, running it right above the ribs. And now I start pushing it down and sliding it up and taking it clean off that spine. So I enter from the front. I'm pushing down. And I'm popping it nice and clean right along the spine. Once I get past the rib cage, I pop through and out toward the tail. So I'm past, I feel with the blade that I've got past the rib cage, pop it through and out toward the tail. I'm using a Rapala fillet knife. I love these things, especially for the price of them. You can't get a better uh, fish filleting knife. Okay, once I've, I've run through, out, and out to the tail, you'll see right there, I just started it over the ribs here make the turn and then I tear it the rest of the way pull now you've got you've got the fillet clean bones clean it's just still on the skin the beauty of these knives is the flexibility so if you push down I've got my index finger here I'm pushing down hard on there and slice back and forth you can cleanly remove the fillet from the skin. One thing about crappy, you see what's separating right here at the very top? You always want to leave this behind. Sometimes that comes off on the fillet. It's a bit of fatty tissue. It tastes terrible. It doesn't cook well. It gets stuck in your teeth. If you leave that behind, you have a whole lot better tasting fish. There's a finished fillet, clean. The beauty on the other side is now you can watch the blade through the spine. So we enter from the top, slide it right above the rib cage, up and out. Now I'm gonna slice it back in. I'm gonna flop it over, pop out, slice toward the tail. Then we just have to start it over the ribs. One, two, Tear, kind of flatten it out so I have it nice on the table, and I use that flexible blade to clean off that fillet, and I make sure that I leave that fatty strip on there. There's another fillet. So from the top, we use a serrated blade. Start on that angle. It's a little bit, these are bigger crappies, a little bit easier with smaller crappie. It's great with perch. Sorry, that was a little bit gory. Now, I like, they, these things end up slimy. I usually throw my thumb right down in. Uh, gives me something to grab a hold of. Start the blade. I'm pushing down against that spine. Pop out. Run through to the tail. Turn it over the rib cage and tear. So 
My name is Roger. I'm from Roger's Rigs. We have a website where we sell just the essential. There's only about a dozen lures on my website, and it's a dozen lures that I keep in my tackle box to catch uh, perch and crappies. And uh, there's a bunch more videos on Roger's Rigs uh, that explain how we catch these fish, other ways we cut up some of the other fish, and, uh, and some really neat videos of catching some perch and, and some crappies and some lake trout and, and tips and tricks on how to do it. We would really appreciate it if you subscribe, uh, share this with your friends if it's at all helpful, and check out the other videos uh, if you want to learn more. And I'd really love it if you check out rogersrigs.com and uh, see the products we have there. Thank you for watching. And good luck, stay safe, and enjoy these delicious fish.